This is a short video where you can download MZMind2 with Iron Identity Networking. It is a, a fork of MZMind2, which is located in my GitHub account. Um, later on, we're going to try to merge everything into the main branch, but Iron Identity Networking so far is in my fork. So you just go to uh, Robin Schmidt MZMind2 on GitHub, and then uh, under releases, you're going to be redirected to the release page and here you're going to be able to uh, download the latest version so you just download the zip file here uh, we also have some batch files uh, just for the basic parameter settings and you can also download those and just uh, use them as kind of a start and after you download and unzipped and started mzmine2 you're going to recognize that you have uh, plenty of new modules here. The first module is the row grouping and it's the uh, basis of everything. So uh, for this we go, uh, we got a, another video uh, that explains all the parameters and the settings for row grouping. The basic function is that we want to find um, multiple rows in a feature list or aligned feature list that correspond to the same feature or the, the same molecule. So it was all these ions were generated by the same molecule eluting from the column and this module is going to group them. Based on this, we apply ion identity networking to find different ions of the same molecule, so to find different adducts or insole fragments, multimers, and so on. And the basis is ion identity networking module. And in this module, we uh, this is always going to run on uh, row groups so you need to perform the um, row grouping before. And then we have Iron Identity Library where we can just select the different uh, adducts and the different insource fragments. We're also going to have another video on this. And after, after you run Iron Identity Networking, this is supposed to be run with just the... Um, major eyes uh, with the major adducts and major in source fragments so you run ion identity networking and you just define the protonated sodium and whatever what you expect to be in your data and after that you can add different ion identities to existing networks and so this module is supposed to uh, to just broaden our networks so with this uh, it's the same module basically but this module only runs on existing networks and we can just define uh, more of the weird adducts, for example, iron or calcium and so on. And we can also go higher with the uh, molecules, so the multimer, um, multimers that we expect and the charge, for example. And then we always have the ion identity network refinement. The refinement is very important to just, um, after we create networks, to reevaluate uh, how good they are. And with this, uh, you just have the minimum size. I often tend to just go for um, the minimum size of three, for example, because then uh, if we only have two, this is just the MZ difference, um, for example, of M plus H and sodium. But then if we have a third one, this is going to be more accurate and we can believe in it uh, without looking at it manually. And then uh, we have delete smaller networks. Uh, this is also very important for the last step because um, we need to delete uh, the smaller networks. Um, for example, um, we're going to create different networks that are very similar, but in one network we just have a bit more adducts in there and then we just delete um, the smaller subnetworks there and and then the last module this that I want to explain here is the uh, check all iron identities by MSMS and this is um, basically checking multimers because multimers usually tend to fragment from for example 2m plus sodium fragment down to 1m plus sodium, so we just lose the molecule uh, that was like uh, creating these clusters. And um, so we can just verify this automatically in MSMS. And 
so these these modules uh, we're going to run all of these modules in a batch and this is going to happen in another video